In this overview, we are going to discuss the ability to assign events to specific users in both Capture and Tracker Capture. This feature allows users to filter the events that they need to follow up on rather than having to search for particular records which they may or may not need to update. Let's review this feature in a bit more detail to understand how it can be used. We can start by reviewing user assignment of events in the Capture app using an inpatient morbidity and mortality event program. A new event has been created within this program for this demonstration. In this scenario, when a patient dies, it is required that their final diagnosis from the medical certificate of cause of death be entered and a copy of their certificate uploaded. This may not always be available at the time of data entry and may need to be followed up on at a later time. When considering this scenario, we can see a number of the fields for this program have already been filled in. If we scroll down to the bottom of the form, we can see a field on the form in which we can assign this event to a user. We can only select one user to assign the event to. We do this by entering either their name or their username in the assigned user field. If we save this, it will take us back to our list of events. We can see a new column in this list that is not available in previous versions of DHIS2, the Assign To column. This column indicates the person that has been assigned the event when the event is assigned to a particular user. A number of events have been assigned which will allow the users to filter out these events based on this user assignment. For example, we can filter out the events assigned to an individual user using the Assigned To filter option. For an individual who has access to many users and levels of data, this can be useful for determining who needs to follow up on which events. As an example, I can use the Select User option, search for a particular user, and then update the list. This will then show the events that have been assigned to that particular user. It can also be useful for the individuals responsible for following up on these types of events. For example, if I am not logged in as John Kamara, I can filter the list to show the events that are assigned to myself. I can go to the Assign To filter button and click on Me, and then update the list. We can also add in the condition that the event should be active, so we are only including events that haven't been closed already. We can open up these events, edit them, and proceed to update them as required. We can also use this feature in Tracker Capture, where it may be even more useful depending on the workflow associated with various program stages within your Tracker program. To review this feature in Tracker Capture, we will be using a malaria diagnosis, treatment, and investigation program. There are a number of different stages associated with this program, as we can see here. Each of the stages in this program has a different team responsible for filling it in. As an example, the person who registers, diagnoses, and treats the malaria case through passive case detection may not be the one to go out to the field to perform an investigation of the case they have treated. With the relevant data for the diagnosis and treatment stage filled in, we can complete the event and create a new event in the case investigation and classification stage. We can then assign this event to a specific user for them to follow up on. Just like for events, there is an assigned user field. This is underneath the event date and the coordinates if there are any within the event. The process for assigning the user is similar to events where we click on the assigned user field, find our user, and simply click on them.
When this is done, the event is now assigned to that particular user. If we are now logged in as the user to which the event has been assigned, we can similarly filter out these events by selecting Custom Working List, navigating to User Assignment, selecting the current user, and updating this list. This then filters out the records that we need to update. In order to allow for the user assignment of events, a small change in maintenance to your programs are required. From the Program section in Maintenance, select the program that you want to enable the user assignment of events for. Let's start with an event program, in this case, the inpatient morbidity and mortality example that we demonstrated earlier. When you open the program, scroll down to see the option Allow User Assignment of Events. When this option is selected, you will be able to assign events to users that can access this event program. Make sure to save this change in order to apply it to the program. When I select a tracker program, I need to select specific program stages as we are assigning events, not programs, to users. Select Program Stages, then select the program stage you want to enable the ability to assign users to. Scroll down, and like Event Programs, you will see an option Allow User Assignment of Events. With this selected, you will be able to assign any events within this program stage of the tracker program you are working with to users in your system. Make sure to update the stage and save the program to apply your changes. The ability to assign events in both event and tracker programs should prove useful in any scenario involving different users following up on events within various programs. This can support management of these programs by allowing users to understand who is responsible for finalizing data for an event, and also allow for individual users to create a working list of the events they are directly responsible for updating. We look forward to hearing your feedback on this new feature. For any questions or comments, please do not hesitate to contact us on the Community of Practice.